Lord, today as we seek you, we pray that you would meet with us, Lord. You would meet with each of us individually as we come before you and we pray and we spend time in your word. Today we're reading through Ephesians 4, starting from verse 8 and finishing at verse 16. It reads, Therefore it says, When he ascended on high, he led a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. In saying he ascended, what does it mean, but that he had also descended into the lower regions, the earth? He who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children, tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the whole body grow so that it builds itself up in love. Wow, Lord, we thank you for this wonderful scripture and Lord, for the clarity it gives us around who you are and what you've achieved for us, Lord Jesus. Lord, it says you descended into the lower regions of the earth, into hell. Lord, you captured Hades, you captured hell. And Lord, it also says that you ascended and you ascended into heaven. And Lord, that's where our hope is. That's all our hope is on, Lord, that Jesus, you not only died, you not only lived, but you died and then you rose again. And you're seated at the right hand side of the Father, Lord, and you died for mankind's sins. So Lord, today we just say thank you once again. Thank you, Lord, for dying for our sins on the cross of Calvary, Lord, and descending and ascending. Oh Lord, your ascension is all we need to focus on. Thank you, Lord, that you are far above all the heavens. And Lord, as you've said previously in Ephesians, Lord, we are seated with you in heavenly places. So Lord, we just take our rightful place next to you in the heavenly realm, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for the authority and the power that gives us. Lord, we also thank you here that you're teaching us, Lord, that we are all called to help equip the body of Christ. Lord, that we are all different, but we are all called in different ways. Lord, some of us are prophets, some of us are evangelists, some of us are shepherds or pastors and others teachers, Lord God. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that you are helping us to see who we are and what we do in the body. Lord, where there's no clarity or where people are quite new and they're not quite sure what they are, Lord, I pray that you would start to touch their hearts about these different roles that you have. Lord, the different giftings that you've given each of your body members. Lord, help each of us to full, fully take this seriously and start to develop the gifts that you've given us, Lord, to step into the calling that you've called us into. Lord, we are all useful. Lord, we are all here as saints, called to equip your body until we get to that unity of faith and to being the mature disciples that we're supposed to be. Lord, help us, help us. Lord, we do not desire to be immature. Lord, we do not desire to be childish in our walk. Lord, where we've made excuses for not developing and not growing, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that you're helping us to repent right now. Lord, we are sorry, Lord, for where we have not taken the call seriously and not taken what you've called us to do seriously. Lord, where we've rejected you. Lord, where we have gone the other way. Lord, where we have tried to make other things Lord of our lives. Lord, where we have ignored you. Lord, we just say... Lord, would you forgive us our sins this day, Lord, and would you help us, Lord, to start to move into that mature manhood that you talk about, that maturity, Lord, that relies on you and that actually helps to build up your body. Lord, convict our hearts today. Convict our hearts today. Convict our hearts of paralysis and laziness, Lord. 
Lord, help us to all move forward in you. Lord, I know that everyone who is praying, Lord, has a desire to do your will, do your purpose in their lives. But Lord, again, we need you, Lord. We need your direction. And we also need you to open divine doors of opportunity for us, Lord, so that we can train and we can grow and we can learn what we're supposed to learn, Lord, so that we can fulfill these different areas that we've been called into properly. Lord, help us to be mature. Help us to ingest you in a mature way and to take our walk seriously, Lord. It says that we shouldn't be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Lord, you said that we should study to show ourselves approved, that we should learn your word. Lord, where we have been lacking in reading the word, learning the word, Lord, Lord, again, Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to go deeper into you. Help us to take that time out and to make it a priority to learn about you, Lord, so that we are not tossed about by every wind of doctrine. Instead, Lord, we would be those who are helping to build up the body, which is what you've called us to do. Oh, Lord, we pray for that body. We pray for that unity of the body, Lord, so that we all start to walk like soldiers in the right direction and build up the kingdom of God that you have put on this earth, Lord. You've given us the kingdom of God on this earth as in heaven, Lord. So, Lord, we pray that today you would help us take up our position and bring heaven down to earth. In Jesus' name I've prayed.